What's up guys, how you doing? Uh, before I continue, please do me the favor, subscribe to the channel, hit the alert buttons, the bell, whatever it is, just do me the favor, subscribe to the channel. Um, it's useful information, you have any uh, comments, concerns, hit me up on email um, at combatvetvlogger um, at gmail.com um, or just comment in the sections and I'll get back to you. Um, uh, so today what, what I want to talk about is, um, yes, I did the introduction um, back into the YouTube channel. Uh, this year was quite busy um, and because of the pandemic, the shutdown, the, uh, we were limited in a lot of things we were to do, but, um, we were able to take care of as much as we can, we could, um, at the time, um, two of the service connections for this one veteran, um, which was skin condition and migraines. Um, now both were separate, uh, separate claims. Um, they were handled separately. Um, and the reason why I'm saying separately is because a lot of people tend to say, oh, don't um, stack your claims uh, because it, it, it'll take a, a, a while. Um, on top of that, these were, um, it, even though it did take a while, these were uh, increases. Um, the skin condition was a 0% service connection and the migraine was a 30% uh, service connection. Now, um, with skin skin condition, uh, eating, we also another thing we dealt with an uh, American Legion VSO. Um, so with the skin condition, uh, the way it went about was uh, even though the person w um, had a zero percent service connection and was service connected, um, there was no nothing higher than zero percent because I guess um, at the time there was the way it was being dealt with. Um, when there was medication introduced um, and the type of medication, so it was a steroidal medication, um, I guess things changed. Uh, we put the increase for that, um, what, through the VSO, we put the increase for that and we put in a statement of support of claim um, for that one. Um, when we went in for the CMP right before the pandemic shutdown for, you know, st uh, state shutdowns, um, well, country shut down. The CMP doctor had stated to the veteran that they might not see nothing more than 10%, you know, um, just because of the affected areas. Um, the affected areas were the legs and they were the head. Well, yeah, the whole head. Um, the medication was a steroidal medication um, and the statement supporter claim was just basically... Um, the veteran had help applying um, the the medication because of the veteran doesn't know exactly, even though they can feel it, they know exactly where um, they can feel it on their head where it itches. Right? It's just the redness, they couldn't see it themselves. So, you know, it had to be applied by, um, you know, a, a partner. So when the CMP doctor uh, walked out, you know, uh, to say, you know, basically finished the uh the interview um the cmp doctor ended up uh, talking to me and um basically asked me a few questions in regards to you know uh the medication how it's, you know what it, what is done how it's applied you know uh times of day and based on that information you know it still reiterated that you know the the more that they would probably see was 10 percent um we didn't really um, question it and just left it at that. Um, a month later, there was an increase for 60% for the skin condition. Um, and I'm guessing because of, well, not that I'm guessing. At the time, when we can't even ask the VSO because the VSO ended up retiring and during the pandemic shutdown, um, country shutdown. And... Um, we we're still waiting on the new VSO uh, to be assigned to us. But um, the medication being applied on top of that, you know, it's what helped out, you know, in order to get the 60%. Um, I guarantee you it's what helped out because when you're not receiving any type of uh, uh, medication in regards to your skin condition, so whether it's eczema or, or whatever it is, um, then... You know, obviously you have a service connection, but you'll be at zero percent. So you know you get nothing. Um, once you start working on your service connection and trying to treat it, um, 
then you'll increase. Um, and basically, that's what happened. Um, we'll, we'll get more of a breakdown in regards to uh, that service connection down the road. But yeah, that's that's what ended up happening with the skin condition um, and the, the, the increase ended up going through. Um, the second service connection was the migraine. Um, that we ended up going through QTC uh, and it was denied. Now, a brief history in regards to the migraine. The migraine was service connected at 30% a while back. And uh, I would say back 2014, um, it was given a 30% and the veteran felt like that it, it doesn't suffice to what the conditions the veteran was feeling, you know, and the symptoms that they had. So what we ended up doing is going through the VSO. The VSO ended up putting, uh, appealing the, the 30%, um, got denied. Um, we in, ended up appealing it twice. And on the third one, which was right before the, the country shut down, um, the the veteran got denied um, for the fifty percent. So we stood at thirty percent. Um, we felt like uh, the suggestions that were given to us um, by other veterans through comments. Obviously, you know it it works differently for all veterans, but the the suggestions were I I migraine, which is an app. Um, basically, you're logging in everything, so you're logging in times. You're logging at dates. Uh, how how long was um, uh, did you have the migraine for, um, and what did you do for it? And uh, it, you know, it's basically keeping a logbook and a digital logbook. Um, the other suggestion, which my suggestion was um, a logbook, a regular logbook, you know, because sometimes I, my, a phone, you know, the light of a phone can affect you. Um, so you know, a regular logbook, keep a logbook, and 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 you know, just write everything down. Um, the other one was, uh, you can go to the ER and, you know, by going to an ER, it, to the emergency room, you can also, you know, create that paperwork trail, you know, cause they'll be able to write it down and keep notes of it. Especially if you go to the VAER, it, I listen to the, when I go to the VAER, the longest that I'm there for is an hour, you know, depending on my service connection, depending what the symptoms I'm there for. Um, and it's an hour. Uh, but yet, yeah, you know, those were suggestions that we, you know, we went for. Now, um, yeah, the, the veteran ended up getting denied. And it just so happens that the veteran stated exactly what, you know, how many times a month uh, the the veteran uh, experienced these migraines. Um, how long, time of day, you know, what they do for work. Um, does it affect their work? And, uh, you know, what is it that they do when at work um, to control these symptoms? Uh, that that denial, I guess, was not accepted by the VA. The VA ended up calling this veteran back and uh, ended up doing a CMP on the spot over the phone. Um, I guess it did not agree with the QTC doctor, which is a third-party doctor. It did not agree. They did not agree with the the, the QTC doctor, and they reevaluated this veteran. The veteran ended up getting the fifty percent. Um, so they ended up getting the increase uh, for the migraines, and bam, there you go. Um, obviously, there were things that you know. There's things that work for certain veterans, and there's things that don't work. You know, um, but. You go about however, my suggestion to you guys is whatever suggestion is given to you, try it, you know, if it doesn't work, you know, meaning that, you know, if the migraine app uh, doesn't work, then go with, you know, go with a regular logbook or keep all three, you know, do do the ERs, do the migraine app or do the regular logbook and, you know, show that, show, you know, an effort that, you know, you're taking medications, you're doing all of this and it's not working, you know. Um, so as long as you, you know, you show all everything that you've tried to get yourself better, but it's not working, then, um, it might take, be taken into consideration. Obviously, again, uh, based on the skin condition and the migraines, we definitely got to talk to the VSO, um, see what worked, um, and be able to at least, uh, um, sp spread that information. Um, but yeah, so, you know, these are things that, uh, we worked on, uh, 
during the pandemic. Um, there were other things that I worked on myself and other veterans. Um, and I'll be hitting you guys up in regards to that. Like right now, I have a veteran that we're dealing with uh, his GERD. Um, and another veteran dealing with, uh, well, several veterans dealing, dealing with sleep apnea and how to get a service connected. Um, there is one veteran that uh, try to get sleep apnea as a secondary to 30% PTSD. Um, yeah, my, it, it's not going to work because um, you're 30%. Um, but at the same time, um, I, I'll explain in another video why it would have not worked. Uh, but please do me the favor subscribe to the channel um, stay up if you have any comments um, in regards to what went on in regards to the skin condition and the migraine uh, you know what to do um, and uh, email me if anything all right take care guys bye bye